Hello, welcome back to my channel. I think I'm going to do a love reading today. A love reading today for Aquarius. Okay, Spirit. Can you help us with this reading, Spirit? I've done called in my appropriate guides, and they're helping me. I got 1010 earlier. I just looked. It was 1010. A horn blow. That was confirmation that you are loved by your twin flame. I looked it up. And that you will be together, Spirit, or you are together. What's something that Aquarius needs to know about from a past life, their love life? What's something that Aquarius needs to know in their love life about their past, past life love? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, phobias. So you used to be terrified of certain things. You had phobias on certain things in your life. Phobias. About what, Spirit? What else do we need to know about Aquarius in past life? Maybe you were scared of doing something on your own, is what it's looking like to me. Can we have another one or two, Spirit, please? Spirit will give when Spirit feels the need. See, yeah. Phobias, and then we have male and female. I gotta get one more and see how this plays out. Hang on. What else, Spirit? Phobias about a man or a woman. What else? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, Native American. So you had phobias about a male or a female Native American, I guess. Or somebody was scared because you were a Native American? Yeah. Somebody was scared to love you because you were a Native American. Ain't that sad? But back in them times, that's how times were. I think things still need to be changed right now as it stands. Love message for Aquarius. Spirit, can you give us a... Clear, concise message. Oh, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So somebody's needing to forgive their parents. Maybe your kids doesn't like that you have Native American beliefs at the moment. Like, you know, because Native Americans believe in spirit, and I believe in spirit. What else? What else? Oh, it's giving you three, so that's all I'll take of these. It said, Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Past life relationship, your love, you have known each other before. See, past life, I just told you. They were scared because maybe they were a general in the, ar in the army and you were an Indian. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Boy, ain't that true. 
So Aquarius, you need to forgive your parents so you can attract this past life relationship and make the effort towards it. That's what, that's what it's saying to me right now. We'll get these energy cards and see what they say. Spirit, can you help us with these energy cards and give us one or two, one or two or three, whichever one you want to flip at us? Give us two. Oh, twin flame, see, 22, yin-yang, 22, yin-yang, 52, goddess of the moon. So, you have a twin flame or a past life soulmate connection, and you all mirror each other, and they're seeing you as a goddess of the moon. They're seeing you as a high priestess. What else, spirit? Can we have one more of these, spirit? If you allow it. Can we have one more of these, spirit, if you allow it. Thank you. But someone's all tied up. Seeing how are you supposed to get your great love if you're all tied up out there, Aquarius. You can't get your great love being all tied up, honey. No, you can't. We'll get these uh, Black Moonology cards, I believe his name. We'll see who his people is. Who is Aquarius's twin flame? Who is Aquarius's twin flame? They're yin and yang. Who's their twin flame spirit? Who is their twin flame spirit? Spirit, how about helping a spirit? Show us a please, spirit. Who is our twin flame yin yang spirit? Who is the poorest twin flame spirit? Who is it? Can you give us a card, spirit? Oh, they got desire for you, fire element. Someone got fire burning for you, Aquarius. Who is Aquarius twin flame, spirit? Who is it? Something else we need to know, Spirit. Please give us two more cards, Spirit. I'm gonna get them, you all. Just fire with me, Spirit will do it. Who else? What else do we need to know? Wow, that jumped out. Oh, someone's having the desire to escape. <laughs> That's what it said, 12th house. You need to look in your 12th house, some, some Aquarius out there, and see what you're trying to escape, who you're trying to escape from. We have one more spirit. Thank you, spirit. You're getting grand trine blessings, whoever you are out there. 46. Grand trine blessings, 46. We got 37, 36, 46. 22, 52, 23. That's the numbers out here right now. And then this was on the bottom. Look here. Truth, Saturn, Aquarius, one of your planets. Then we have part of fortune increase. So it's telling me that the truth is Your desire to escape is going to bring you blessings. That's the truth. And actually, in a fortune increase. That's what it said out there, Aquarius. So, somebody, this is going to resonate with somebody out there for sure. 
four, four, sure. So please remember to share my readings. It will greatly help me. My one subscriber, share my readings. Try to help me. <laughs> please try to help me. Spirit's gonna help us. Spirit's gonna help us, that's for sure. Now I'm going to use one of these little cards. Spirit, can you give us another message? Mm -hmm. Relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. So don't, don't stay in the darkness and be at cause. See, you're, you got a greater purpose. See how she's naked and the light surrounding her. Maybe you've felt outcasted or something by society, but it's okay because it done told you spirits bringing you triple trying blessings. Dream a beautiful dream, it's telling you. So whatever your dream is, it is a beautiful one. Don't, don't doubt it. Whatever life you dream, you can have it. This is for any person, not just Aquarius. This is for any person. If you dream it, it will come. In the stillness, in the darkness is when you will find it. Can we have one more of these cards? One more. One more to make it even. One, one more. Oh, you got the power of attraction. Yin and yang, twin and flame, yin and yang. Number 13. 13 might be of significance out there. Hmm. I know what 13 is over here at this house. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Now I'm going to use these karma cards. Spirit, can you help us with this reading? What's a sign we need to be weary of? What's, what's a sign we need to be weary of, Spirit? What's a sign we need to be weary of, Spirit? I know there's more than one. What's a sign we need to be weary of, Spirit? Thank you. Spirit, give us three. And it came out planet, house, two houses and planets. It says you need to learn or teach. Jupiter. Hmm, be positive about your teaching. Grow and expand. The granting of the blessings from good fortune. Woohoo! We're getting a good fortune. With the trust of a child. Fifth house. So you need to look and see what's in your fifth house. Fun, romance, and making art. Do it dramatically. Fifth house belongs to Leo. Then it says spiritual values, long-range thinking or travel. What is to be shared in the ninth house? Do it in a big way as if or they come from all there is, the philosophies and laws involved. So it says learn or teach with the trust of a child your spiritual values. And that's what you're doing. Ninth house belongs to Sagittarius. I said, who do we need to be weary of? And it's saying to me, um, a Leo and a Sagittarius. Who we need to be weary of at the moment. Well, ain't that something? That really something for this person. Hmm. Quite amazing how some people, like even your children... They'll be weary of you or things that you do, and I don't I don't like that. I don't really agree with that.
when kids get older, they'll just leave the parents and act like they, hey, they ain't worth two shits or two hells or fart or nothing, you know. They're not worth nothing, not even letting you see their grandchildren. That's how some kids are. Sad and true, all of what I just said. It's sad and true. Spirit. Can you tell us a story today? Ten of Cups. We're going to have a happy family. That's what we're only wanting over here. A big happy family. That's what we worked our entire life for. Some of us. What's coming to Leo and Sagittarius? Spirit. Here for Leo, Six of Pentacles. They're reminiscing in the past. Um, they're saving. They're saving up for. They're saving up for something, or they're holding back something from you. Yeah. What about ninth house? Oh, Sagittarius. What? What we got? He wants to share. What he need to share today? Oh yeah, he wants to bring eight of wands. He wants to move in fast, fast moving, fast forward movement is what he's wanting to do. So he wants to come in charging and tell you something. Pertain to about the past, about the past and this family. That's what it's saying. What will be the outcome? He's wanting to pour out his emotions to you, this young, this young person in your life. Something else we need to know. Oh, somebody's feeling left out in the cold. Feeling like they're left without anybody or anything. Probably. What else, Spirit? What else about this Ten of Cups? Six of Cups. Six of Wands is victory. No, that was Eight of Wands. This is Six of Cups. Hang on a minute. Let me get my little book. Six of Cups is love. I know that. Six or cups. Hang on just a second. I'll tell you. Six of cups. Six of cups. Six of cups. It says something by the way of reconciliation and leaving the past behind. It could mean some sort of apology or returning to the past to unlock skeletons from the closet. There is a sense of relief in moving forward with its presence, and the answer you likely seek is yes. Oh, so yeah, they're wanting to uh, bring out something in the past. That's what these young people are doing. Six of Pentacles means success, prosperity, and generosity. It suggests financially helping others, giving donations, and selfless charity. There's a positive favor for an overall sense of good fortune and happy payoffs. So there's going to be good fortune and happy payoffs for you all out there. So what I get for you today, Aquarius, is... You definitely got a twin flame and you're needing to heal the family issues. Go back to your childhood and forgive parents. Um, so you can attract this past life relationship and you're going to have to make the effort. 
okay, to get this 10 of cups. Happy family. All right, I hope that helps somebody out there today. Please like, subscribe, and share my videos, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Peace.